Hey, chosen ones. It's a reason why people try to trauma bond you. It's a spirit behind that individual that know if they can get you trauma bond, they can clone you. They can clone your spirit where you become another duplicate of that spirit that's gonna try to trauma bond somebody else. It's like an Agent Smith effect. If you ever seen the Matrix, that Agent Smith guy, he can turn into anybody that was a empty vessel. He can he can he can jump into anybody that was an empty vessel and become them. That's what this spiritual war is about. Cloning that spirit to where there's no more light in the world. See, we be thinking cloning is about the physical body. Man, that's that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. That's not the truth of the nature. That's not the truth of reality and reality of the truth is that reality that we think it is which is the 3d is not what reality really is it's all spiritual the unseen world the things we can't see the things that manifestations come from see chosen ones they can't clone you you have the spirit of the most high within you and you also make a conscious decision not to be cloned, not to be trauma bond, because you have sight, you have wisdom, knowledge, and vision. The ones that fall victim to trauma bonding is the individuals that don't have vision or knowledge of self. Because if you think about it, the people that are doing the trauma bonding, that's trying to do the trauma bonding, are usually the ones that are and trapped in their own trap as well. See, low vibrational people hang on to other low vibrational people. What do I look like allowing somebody to trap me that has daddy issues, mama issues, substance issues? These, like, if you look at the, from the surface level, let's go to the 3D. If you look at the individual on the surface level, this person is not healthy. This person is not sane. This person is always triggered. But a person that don't have vision won't be able to see that. They'll question themselves. Oh, maybe I'm not good enough for this person love. How? When this motherfucker don't even love their goddamn self. This motherfucker don't even do their self right. This motherfucker don't even take care of themselves. And I feel, I gotta feel like I need to prove myself to them. Fuck that. Trauma bonding is only going to work and is only successful if the individual that they're trying to get doesn't see their worth, doesn't see the person for who they really are. A person that's trying to trauma bond you is really a, a, a low vibrational person and you can look in their life, they really don't have too much going on. And that's why they try to do this at a young age. They try to get you trauma bond at a young age so they can clone you. They gonna clone your spirit being trauma bonded by individuals and usually it starts with the family because that's where, that's where you come up at. That's where you coming up out of. It's your family. And what they do, they pull back love. They pull back uh, emotional, you know, care. They pull back all these things that are, uh, that are a necessity for your growth so that you can be attached to them. So that they can feel like they have some power because they didn't get that from their mother. And their mother didn't get that from their mother. And it's just a, it's a chain link effect, but that's the whole cloning process of the spirit, that, that low vibrational spirit. So cloning, it's all about your spirit, man. And for the chosen ones, we ain't allowing that shit because most of the people that's trying to do the trauma bomb ain't got shit rocking. Their life is in shambles, but they need you to feel like you need them. And you'll look back at them, you'll sit back and look at them like, motherfucker, your life ain't shit. What the fuck? Like, why would I need somebody that don't love themselves to love me? 
Why would I need somebody that ain't accomplished shit in their life to affirm me and congratulate me on my accomplishment? We ain't we ain't on the same level. You ain't did what I did. So I don't expect you to reciprocate that same energy when you ain't even done it to, for yourself. That's like you have to be able to look at the signs in the the early stages of anybody trying to trauma bond slash clone you cloning is not a physical thing it's about the spirit they're trying to clone your spirit so that you can go out and make many more of that low vibrational traumatized spirit this is G. Wells signing out. Don't let them clone you, chosen ones. Stay in your power. Oh, yeah. And one more thing. When they can't clone you, that's what I meant to say. When they can't clone you, then what they do? They ostracize you. You're crazy. You're the problem. You're the issue. Nah, motherfucker. You just can't clone me. You just can't. You can't tap into this source of energy I got. That's all that is. That's why you mad. That's why you big mad. That's why you big mad because you can't harness this energy. You can't, you can't, you can't be stepping with the big steppers over here.